Today in our 2013 Dodge Durango, we will be installing the Hopkins 4-pole to 7-pole adapter, part number 37185. The first step to installing our 7-way adapter is going to be to install our bracket up on the mounting point on our hitch. We will take the included hardware, which are the lock nuts and these two Phillips machine screws. We'll line up the holes on our mounting plate and the bracket on the hitch. And we'll drop the Phillips screw through. Then we'll put the locking nut on the bottom. Since the screwdriver is a little tough to get in this position, we'll put a socket on the bottom and tighten it that way. With that one snug, we'll move to the other side. Now with the bracket in place, we can mount our seven-way connector. Now we'll take our seven-way connector, we'll line up the mounting points with the mounting points on our bracket. Slide the wire through the opening at the bottom, and once it's in place, we just line up those holes. This is the hardware we'll be using to mount the seven-way connector. It came with the kit and consists of a flat head, machine screw, and another locking nut. Feed the screw through the mounting location. We'll take the locking nut and place it on the rear side. With that in place, we can tighten it down. And we'll repeat that process for the remaining three mounting locations. We'll take our four pole connector, we'll pull it back up behind the hitch. We'll take the wire off our new seven pole connector and plug it into the four pole. Now we locate our, our white wire, which is our ground wire. We're gonna run that up to a previous ground we had and tie into that. To do so, let's bring it up behind the hitch and over the rear bumper structure here to keep it up and safe. And we'll remove that screw and tie into that existing ground. These wires we have here are normally used for a brake controller, an accessory, a 12 volt power source. But since the customer opted not to install a brake controller at this time, we'll neatly wrap the wires up, tape them and secure them, and we'll get them up and out of the way so they're there for later use. I removed the old zip tie from our four-way harness that we were plugging into, and I'll zip tie that with the blue, purple, and black wire that we are not using with our seven-way. And to further clean things up a little bit, we're gonna take some wire loom and just run that over the wire. This will also help protect it. And this wire loom is also available on our website, part number 459-075-1. With the wires in the loom, go ahead and add a couple zip ties to it just to keep it in place. We'll take our tester, or this could even be a trailer. Make sure it's plugged 
into our seven way connector. We also have access to our four way connector still. And we're gonna test out the unit. We'll hit the brakes. The left blinker, the right blinker, and our running lights. And that will conclude today's installation of the Hopkins four pole to seven and four pole adapter, part number 37185 on our 2013 Dodge Durango.